Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Valorant. Whenever you launch the game, you got the error when 9005. The version of Vanguard requires TPM version 2.0 and UEFI compliant firmware in order to use VBS. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. Right click on start menu and choose option plus. Type here MS Info32 and then hit the enter key. Now in order to play Valorant, your system must have an UEFI firmware, secure boot must be turned on as well as you must have a TPM 2.0. So let's go ahead and verify these specifications. Over here under the BIOS mode, you can see it is either UEFI or legacy. If it is legacy, you need to turn it to UEFI. Nextly secure boot, it must be turned either on or off. For Valorant, it must be turned on. And thirdly is TPM. Right click or start menu and choose the option run. Type here tpm.msc and then hit the enter key. Now here you can see the specification of TPM you have. You must have a TPM 2.0 in order to play Valorant in your system. Now if you have these specifications, what you need to do is to enter into the BIOS menu of your system and enable these settings. To do so, I have a dedicated video. You can directly jump the method 2 which is available at timestamp 0109. Directly jump to this timestamp so that you can enable TPM as well as secure boot in your system. For others, if you have an ASOS laptop, you can directly enter into the BIOS menu and then under the advanced options, you will find the option of PTT. Go ahead and you must enable it. This is for the Intel motherboard and for AMD, under the advanced, you will find the option of TPM device selection. Under the drop down list, make sure you choose the option firmware TPM. For the Dell laptops, again enter into the BIOS menu by pressing the F2 key. Under the security tab, you will find the option of TPM 2.0. Go ahead and enable it. For Latitude, same for Alienware. And for Inspiron, it is little different. Instead of TPM, you will find the option of Intel PTT, which is Platform Trust Technology. You must turn it on by entering into the BIOS menu. And for the HP, I have already shown in this video in detail how you can turn on the TPM as well as secure boot for the HP devices. And for the MSI, again enter into the BIOS menu. Under the settings and security, you will find the option of trusting computing. Go ahead and you need to enable PTT as it is shown right over here. Turn both the options security device support as well as TPM device selection. And for AMD motherboard, you will find the option of AMD FTPM switch. Go ahead from the drop down list, choose AMD CPU FTPM. These are the settings you need to perform in order to enable TPM as well as secure boot in your system. Now, if you do not have TPM or secure boot, click on the start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Type here a command BCD edit space slash set space hypervisor launch type space off. Now hit the enter key. Now close it. Now open up your Windows security. In Windows security, click on device security. Here click on the option core isolation detail and turn off memory integrity. As soon as you turn off memory integrity, make sure to restart your PC. After restarting, right click on start menu and choose option run. Type here appwiz.cpl and then hit the enter key. Now in this left way, click on the option turn windows feature on and off. From here, first of all, uncheck the option Hyper-V. If it is check mark, go ahead and uncheck it. Next is scroll to the bottom and you will find Windows hypervisor platform. If it is check mark, uncheck, uncheck it and virtual machine platform. Again, if it is check mark, make sure you uncheck it. After unchecking these three options, hit the OK button. Now go ahead. Restart your PC and then launch the Valorant and this will completely fix out the issue of VAN 9005. The version of Vanguard requires TPM version 2.0 and UEFI compliant firmware in order to use VBS. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.